sorry guys, I'm having a serious eye-watering problem and that keeps happening no matter how much I fix it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel this week for another video. I hope you are all doing well. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Please do excuse the noise in the background, but if I don't have my fan on, I am going to die of heat stroke. So today we're going to be covering the horrifying case of Russell Williams. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. Also, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as I post videos every single week. And I would love it if you would join me. So let's get into it. Russell Williams is a 59 year old former member of the Canadian Armed Forces. Forces. He was born in Bromsgrove, United Kingdom, and moved to Scarborough, Ontario as a teenager with his family. He attended high school in Toronto. Russell is a former colonel in the military, which is the highest field grade officer, ranking just below general officer. Russell enrolled in the Canadian Armed Forces in 1987. By 2009, he was sworn in as Wing Commander. He had married his wife, Mary Harriman, in 1991, and they lived in a newly built home together in Ottawa, Ontario. Russell was working in Canada's largest military base in Trenton, Ontario. This base serves as a hub for the country's foreign and domestic air transportation services in Afghanistan and Haiti. In 2005, he flew Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip to Canada to celebrate the provinces of Saskatchewan and Alberta's 100th anniversary. He was a pretty big deal in the military at this time, which, if you think about it, is kind of scary. Because the couple's home was three hours away from Trenton in Ottawa. Russell and his wife purchased a waterfront cottage in Tweed, which is just 45 minutes from Trenton. During the weekdays, Russell would stay at the cottage and Mary would stay at the home in Ottawa. However, they would spend every weekend together, whether he went to the home in Ottawa or she came to the cottage in Tweed. 27-year-old Jessica Lloyd went missing on January 8, 2010. The police were able to identify distinct tire marks in the snow near her home. They were later matched to the tire tracks on Russell's Pathfinder that he was seen on video surveillance driving that same day that she went missing in the area. On February 8, 2010, Russell was staying at his home he shared with his wife in Ottawa when he was called in for questioning in relation to Jessica's disappearance. He was confronted about the tire marks and asked to remove his boots to compare to boot marks found around her home. When the police began to push Russell and tell him that boot marks can be just the same as fingerprints when it comes to a crime scene, he began to crack. During a 10-hour interview, Russell admitted to everything. He told police that he had gone to Jessica's home after seeing her through her window. On the day of her disappearance, he realized that she wasn't home and decided to go inside and look around. He then decided to wait in her backyard until she got home. He waited until he knew that she had fallen asleep before entering her back door. He then stood above her bed until she woke up. Russell then tied her up and put duct tape over her eyes so she could not see. He proceeded to dress her up in lingerie and SA her for hours while taking pictures and videos. This guy is a complete psychopath and what's worse is he's trusted by so many. He then placed a zip tie around her neck and continued the attack. This poor girl and like what she must have went through. Russell then took Jessica to his cottage where he continued the attack for 24 hours. 
this story just keeps getting worse. Jessica's arms began to turn purple due to the lack of circulation caused by the zip ties around her wrist. She began having stress-related seizures in which Russell would just watch her and film it. Russell gave her a plate of food and promised that he was going to let her go as he led Jessica or let her believe that he was leading her to the front door. She was still wearing the tape over her eyes at this time. He hit her in the back of the head with a flashlight and as she was laying there on the floor bleeding, he began to take more photographs of her. He then admitted to strangling her to death with a piece of rope. Not only did Russell admit to murdering Jessica Lloyd, he also admitted to murdering a woman a few months prior by the name of Marie French Corneau. Marie was a military flight attendant who was found dead in her home in late November 2009. Russell had also confessed to breaking into the homes of at least 80 people and stealing and wearing lingerie while photographing himself. This is obviously some sort of sick, twisted fetish that he took to the next level. He admitted to attacking, essaying, and photographing multiple other women. Early the next morning on February the 9th, Russell led the police to a secluded area 13 minutes from his home where he had hid Jessica's body. He was arrested and charged with two counts of first degree murder for the deaths of Jessica Lloyd and Marie French. He was also charged with essay, forcible confinement, and breaking and entering. Russell was sentenced to life in prison, rightfully so. And it's really chilling to know that somebody in such a power of authority could be doing something. Unfortunately, it does happen all the time, but this is just crazy, you guys. You never know who you can trust and who is really who behind the scenes. And that brings us to the end of this case today. It is also worth mentioning, now this is all alleged, that his wife at least knew that something was going on. Police allegedly found semen and multiple other DNA evidence uh, that a crimes did occur inside the cottage. There are many people that even believe that she was involved. And that's the end of this video today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell as I do post videos every single week and I would love it if you would join me. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if you did enjoy this video as it's a free way to help me out. And if you have any suggestions for cases below that you would like me to research and cover, don't forget to leave your comment down below. And we'll see you guys in my next video.